Hey guys, what's up? This is Andrew for Transcenses.com. So I'm gonna make a big update, guys, on what is happening right now with GME, AMC as well, but AMC is a bit weak, uh, and the rest of the market. So let's get into it. All right, guys. So we had some big, big, big moves in the past two days. Um, sorry, I wasn't uh, here, so I couldn't make updates. But uh, let's have a look at that. Let's see. What are the resistances level? Let's see if we have some room to push higher um, and let's see what can happen. So I'm going to start with GME guys because this is where we have action. This is where the volume is. Uh, so basically two days ago. So no, sorry. So yesterday here we had some uh, big move happening plus 30 percent when GME uh, announced the release of its own crypto. So this is bullish, of course. I mean, this is a good reason to to uh, create, you know, FOMO and for uh, investors to jump in GME, definitely. But guys, let's have a look at the crypto market. It's not good, looking good, and we're gonna have a look at um, at the global market as well. That maybe maybe is gonna get out of trouble soon. So if this happens, the crypto are probably gonna rally, uh, equity is gonna rally, and GME has a lot of uh, potential. So. Uh, I'm going to analyze that very soon, but first let's focus on GameStop. So what do we have here? In my last video, I was telling you guys that we're having, you know, this areas of consolidation here, 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 and here we had a breakout, breakout with volume. All right. So this is a nice consolidation on very low volume. Those who followed the course uh, that is still available. Um, in the description of the video, you guys know that this is exactly what we are looking for. So here uh, we closed at the top of the day, which is very bullish. Uh, and so the next day we had a follow up through uh, in the same direction. So let's discuss quickly the resistance areas first. So to find the resistance areas, guys, as usual, bam, bam, bam. Let me get rid of that. Tag, tag, tag. Okay. We look at previous consolidations, at previous um, areas of resistance or support. It can work in both ways. So here, I'm already having that, but let me maybe adjust. No, that's good, guys. Look here, Feb 22, this was resistance. March 22, this was support. Here, April 20, April, May 22, it was resistance. So now it is resistance. And as you can see, we went through it with volume, increasing volume, guys. This is reminding me something, right? So let's see if we're able to be in this situation. Are we here? And are we going to have a massive, massive move coming uh, here or not? Let's see. Um, so for now, the volume is increasing. And we have another green candle. We didn't close at the top this time, but it's fine. Uh, we have some profit taking. So let's discuss resistances. So as I said, here is one. So 130, the usual 130. Uh, the next one is 140 and 152. All right. 152. Why? Because you have the resistance here. Very clearly, it was a consolidation with a clear resistance in the recent past. So this has a lot of weight and we have the 200 day moving average coming in. Right. So we have a double resistance. So this whole area, guys, is an area of resistance. All right. So uh, we can very well go through it, but we just need buyers to keep, you know, being strong. So we need the volume to stay. Uh, this is important. We have earnings coming. All right. Just here. 1st of June, guys, so it's going to be in two trading days, right? That, that, uh, yeah, three trading days, even, yeah, three trading days. So um, let's see what we're going to have here. But what can I say here? What can I say, guys? Um, I would say that we had a lot of buyers. True. The question is, are they going to keep buying and are we going to have sellers? All right. And for now, I think that sellers are here, but buyers are just stronger. Um, 
for the smooth to continue, we need sellers to stop doing what they do and they're going to be, you know, even more buyers compared to the total number of investors. And for that to happen, we need to have a strong bullish signal on the global markets. I'm going to come to that. Let me first look at AMC guys once again lagging. Uh, it's not the first time we see that. We saw that in the way on the way down. We saw that on the way up before. Um, you know, GME is much stronger again than AMC. AMC did some nice move, but very small compared to GME. But in the same time, at the same time, there was no good news about AMC. Um, the situation is still the same. In the last video, I was telling you guys that you know we have here this trend lines that we can do and as you can see they're acting still here as resistance it's not perfect the 20 day moving average is coming here it is the one actually that really rejected the price action at 12.8 um, today and uh, I mean yesterday when you're gonna watch this video but uh, but it's still good we still have some bullish moves with increasing volume so here I would say that if we have this breakout here above basically the 30 level it's going to be a very very nice buying opportunity i'm going to personally increase my position if we are able to reach this level uh, especially if i have actually some good signals from the global markets i'm not going to spend too much time on amc here because guys for now we're still in the same pattern all right we didn't break out from this bearish trend we are still bearish in the medium term but we are bullish on the short term as you can see with the increasing volume on the way up uh, we are below the 20 day moving average guys that's not good we need to take it back first and then we need to have some uh, horizontal breakout so 13.3 this is the reason why here if the volume keeps going up uh, we're gonna look good so we need to wait for a close above 13.3 uh, bam 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 now global market guys what is happening here uh so this is what i've been saying in my discord for the past two three days guys we are still playing this trend this uh, bearish trend um okay so my scenario is a one two three four and maybe a fifth wave to 240 all right so very bearish but it's possible i give it a 45 percent probability so roughly 50 50. Uh, the alternative scenario is that we have completed a one, two, three, four, five already. It's possible as well. Sorry, bam. And that right now we are gonna start uh, this scenario a bullish move. So the reason why I give a slightly higher probability to the bullish case is because of the low volume that we had here on the way down. As you can see, look at that day. I've mentioned that already, but let's look at it again. Uh, 18, May 18th, so this was nine days ago. You can see the volume, a strong move down, minus 5% with a low volume compared to the big ones we had before. And the whole period is a very low volume period, which is a consolidation, which very often happens before reversals. So uh, I want to believe that a reversal is coming, but for now we are bearish. We are below the 20 day moving average, just like AMC. Uh, we are below this trend line and to me we are missing maybe one wave all right so i give also a probability that is not you know uh negligible 45 percent to a scenario where we drop lower i hope we won't but i personally sold this all right i posted the alert in my discord uh, yesterday i bought some sqqq which is the same because once again i'm playing this move guys because uh, i'm having um, a long position on many stocks. Um, I took some profits on my short position. So now I can uh, around here, almost close to the lows uh, at, I can show you that on S triple Q, I took a profit at 59. So roughly here, right? Okay, so it was a good trade and so this is the reason why i'm happy to reload i bought yesterday at 52.25 and i announced in my discord of course i have a stop loss at 49 point 
75, I'm gonna keep this trade. I only put 500 US dollars because it's you know a very nice protection for not a big loss. 500 US dollars for whole portfolio protection. It's very very uh, cheap. Uh, so I'm happy to you know take this protection again, uh, and I hope I'm gonna lose my money on this one because I really hope we're gonna have a bull run coming, guys. Because this is so much fun. Uh, for those who are with me in Discord, some of you complain that I'm not posting a lot of alerts. I'm sorry about that, but I do it because I don't want you guys to get burned. All right. And I know that during this very volatile market um, conditions, technical analysis is full of tricks, guys. So that's why I only trade big uh, ETFs like SQQQ, Triple Q. Uh, I keep my positions on uh, my stocks. I don't want to stop these positions. Uh, but I play moves on, uh, once again, those big volume ETF that give me good results with technical analysis. So that's why, guys, I'm very calm in my Discord, but don't worry. Uh, I'm having my watch list full of ideas just here, as you can see. I'm monitoring all of the stocks, guys, all right? So you have around 200 stocks that I'm keeping an eye on, all right? All of that, I have levels and I'm ready to give you the go whenever things will happen to me. Once again, I'm looking for perfect kind of situations, which is not happening often. And uh, let's be honest, I had a lot of false signals on stocks, on bullish signals on the way down. So that's why I, I don't wanna give you too, much, too many alerts and I wanna focus on protection because this is what I think is important in this kind of situations. Um, so to conclude here, triple Q guys, we are not out of trouble. Like I said, I took a short position here because I believe there is still a uh, high probability uh, that we go to very low levels here. Um, we can see, we can have a look at uh, DXY guys, v much better. Uh, back to, I would say, a more acceptable territory, 101 above 103, it's not looking good. And the US 10 year yield, same, giving us some relief at 275, guys. So those two indicators are back, so that's good. We have lower volume on the way down on Triple Q. Uh, so I hope we're gonna break out here. If we do, I'm go just gonna cut all my short position at once, or maybe in twice here, all right? Probably some here and some on the retest. And then here I'm gonna reload on stocks. Hopefully this is what is awaiting us. It would be so cool to have some, you know, strong bull market during the summer. Everyone would feel happy. Some squeezes happening, guys. So let's hope for that. But let's be prepared for the worst uh, and cheer for, for the best, right? So that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please don't forget to click on the sub, like, and bell button. So you're going to be the first to know when I upload anything new. And stay close to shore. I'll see you guys.